Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building a transformer here, and we're going to be building transformers Generation 1 Starscream in his vehicle mode. And as you can see, it's simply a recolored F-15 Eagle fighter jet in a red, white, and blue paint scheme here. Now the reason we're doing this, when we just did an F-15 fighter jet the other day, is I had actually recorded a train to do today but this morning when I got up and went to go edit it I learned that unfortunately the video file for that train I recorded the build for yesterday was completely corrupted and unusable so with it already being today I needed something that I could build and narrate very quickly in order to get something out today so we're just doing this recolored jet as Transformers Generation 1 Starscream but hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So let's get right into the build. So here's our real life F-15 for comparison. And now we're gonna build Starscream. And I'm gonna build it in the sky. If you're building it on the ground, you wanna come on the second block up. And we're gonna start off on the very front of the jet. So this will be the front. And we're gonna do a line of seven smooth quartz blocks. Then a red concrete, a smooth quartz block, and two red concrete. Then come back to the front. On this front block, an upside down smooth course stair, then two smooth course top slaps. Then one block from the front up here, a smooth course slap. Behind that, we'll switch to smooth course blocks, and we're going to do a line all the way down the top to the back of this. On the upper hip box of this red concrete, put four smooth course slaps like this, then another four smooth course blocks, then one block on top then one slab on the very back top like that. Then we'll come up here and do the cockpit, which is orange on Starscream. So one block back up here, we're gonna put a single cut red sandstone slab, then four cut red sandstone blocks, then a slab. Then to round off the top of it, on the top two middle blocks, two acacia trap doors. Then, right behind this on top, we're gonna do a line of three smooth quartz slabs and then we'll go to iron trap doors. And we're gonna bring that across here and stop one block before the back right there. And then we'll come back up by the front. Then we're gonna come on the side right here on this second block, put a mangrove slab and an upside down mangrove stair facing forward. And then same thing on this side. So it looks like that. Then we're gonna do seven red concrete coming back on this top outer edge. And then same thing over here seven red concrete on this top outer edge right here. Now we'll do the engines and afterburners. So we're gonna come back here with smooth court stairs on top and put four stairs facing inward like this. Then four facing inward on this side right here. On the back and inward facing black stone brick stair on either side. And on the bottom, a black stone brick slab here and here. Then put one black stone brick slab underneath here and here. And on the bottom, we're gonna do upside down, outward facing black, brick, black stone brick stair like this on each side. So they're facing outward now. Then in front of this, a smooth quartz stair facing outward, two warped and a smooth quartz. Same thing here, smooth quartz stair, two warped and a smooth quartz. Now come under this first red concrete, put a mangrove trap door right here, then a mangrove slab. Then a row of upside down mangrove stairs facing outward across here. We will of course repeat on this side. So a mangrove trap door here, then a slab, and then a row of upside down stairs like this. Now take mangrove trap doors and start here and put three here, and then three on the top of this side. Then on this outer edge, an iron trap door here, and one on the top outer edge here. Then come up here and do a line of five iron trap doors right here and five on this side here next we're gonna take out diorite walls and start on this smooth quartz on top and do a line of seven coming back so it sticks off one block past the end there same thing on this side a line of seven 
right here so it sticks one block out. Then we'll do the tail pins and for that we're going to take out light blue concrete and we're going to come on top of this diorite wall one block in from the back and we're going to do a line of four light blue concrete right here. And then one block in from the back, four on this side, then three, then two, then one. Then three over here, two, and one. Then take warp slabs. We're gonna put one here and here, here and here, here and here, here and here, and on top we're gonna put two slabs coming forward like this on each side for the antennas. Then come on the top edge of this diorite wall right here, put two smooth cord slabs, and then a quartz in front of it. Then right here, a quartz slab, two smooth quartz behind it. Then two quartz slabs right here on the back. So the tail wing looks like that. And of course, we'll repeat on this side. So on this top outer edge, two smooth quartz and a quartz. Then a quartz here, two smooth quartz. Then two quartz slabs here. And now the other tail wing is done here. In front of these diorite walls on the top, two quartz slabs, then a purple slab here for the Decepticon logo. Then come off the back of it like this and do two quartz slabs. Then a mangrove slab and a quartz. Then swing on the front of this and add one quartz slab on the end right here. And then we're simply just gonna keep skipping forward and over diagonally by one all the way up till it meets up with the airplane body. Then we're gonna put a single mangrove slab behind all of these and then fill the rest of the holes on the wing with smooth cord slab. So it looks like that. Then we repeat on this side. So come off this block on top, two cord slabs, then a purple slab. Then right here, two cord slabs again, a mangrove slab, and a cord slab. Then one cord slab here, and then same thing, we're just gonna skip forward and over diagonally by one each time until the wing meets up with the side of the plane up here. Then we'll go through and put a mangrove slab behind all of these. We'll fill the rest of the holes on this wing with smooth cord slabs like this. Now come up on the side and put a birch button here and here. And same thing on this side, one button here and here. Then we'll do the landing gear, so we're going to take out a block of coal. And we're going to come on this second mangrove stair under here. And we need to be diagonally out by one from the stair, like that. Same thing on this side, on this second stair, come diagonally and out by one. Put a birch button on the side of each of these wheels. Then a birch fence gate here and here. Another one in the middle and open it. And then one in front of it and open that. Then for the front landing gear, we're going to use a grindstone. And we're gonna come on this second smooth quartz block back and put a grindstone going this way. On the back of it, we're gonna put a hanging birch sign. Now the landing gear's done, and now we have to do the tail striping here, and for that we're gonna use banners. So we're gonna temporarily put down a loom and come in with a light blue banner and red dye. And we're gonna do this top triangle and then the opposite one. Then go to white dye and put a corresponding diagonal white stripe on each of these. And then we'll come place these. So we're going to come on the tail here and put this one here, here, and here. Then on the other side we use the opposite banner and go here, here, and here. And now the stripe's done and we can get rid of that loom. So there we have it folks. We've completed our Minecraft G1 Starscream in vehicle mode. Our red, white, and blue F-15 Strike Eagle fighter jet. I hope everyone enjoyed this quick build, and everyone have a great day, stay safe out there, and take care.